Hello and welcome back to class 8. Uh, sorry for the delay. So in this class, uh, actually we started uh, fundamentals of uh, computer networking series. This is class 8. Uh, last class we understood something. Uh, I really I totally forgot what we did. Uh, we understood the MAC address and in this class we are going to understand IP address. Uh, for uh, for just an information we have a telegram group is a big community for live tech support if you are willing to give support or take support uh, whatever you want so you just come and join our telegram group community uh, that's all for here let's uh, get started our class what is IP address hmm? what is IP address See, I'll just give one clarity before entering into this topic. Uh, IP is different. IP address is different. You understand? So both are different here. Uh, don't compare this uh, IP the IP IP address IP. No, uh, it is not like that. IP is different. Uh, IP address is different. Uh, we are talking about IP address, not IP. Okay. Internet protocol is a protocol. Uh, it's a network layer protocol internet protocol address that is something different okay in later classes we will understand what is IP IP in this session next session next session we have lot of sessions to understand what is IP address because IP address is very big chapter in our syllabus that is fundamentals of computer networking first of all what is IP address I'll I'll give a small definition. See, you may find many different definitions in Google, ChatGPT, wherever you want. See, as per my experience, as per my understanding, I will give uh, some uh, line of definition with my with my uh, general basic English. Okay. What is IP address? I say IP address is a unique number given to computer computer or device device any network device huh? given to computer or device to identify identify the location of the computer or device see uh, what I'm trying to say, what is IP address? It's a unique number here. That's all IP address. Now IP address is just address. It's a number. It's a given to computer. Why? Why this IP address given to computer? To identify the location of the computer. To location identity IP address. Device identity MAC address that we understood in the previous class let's have a small example hmm? I will give this example why IP address is very important in our scenario what the example is let's take a small classroom in this classroom we have a lot of students huh? oh, I want to bring some icons huh? just a minute say I give more priority to bring these icons this orange color uh, uh, icons no all are uh, students in in a classroom I can give a many different example but uh, I usually use this example to make you understand what is IP address uh, understand carefully this uh, example will help a lot for us to understand uh, what is IP address hmm? if you uh, look at this uh, mm -hmm. Uh, it's correct. See now, here is the it's me here. Okay, uh, it's me. Wait, I'll put cooling glass because I am master now. I'm just joking here. Okay, this is all you. You are all sitting in a classroom. The one person who is sitting in the last row, his name is Kumar. I always use this uh, name uh, is one of my friend I say this is Jose Fagaru 
Huzaifa means who? It's me, Huzaifa. See, I'm Huzaifa. He's a Kumar. We all in we, we both in a same classroom. There are a lot of other students are there in the same classroom. I'm just asking Kumar. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, uh, asking something like uh, writing a letter. Usually, uh, letter writing is not happen in classroom. I just to make you understand. Uh, this is example, no? Okay. In this example, I'm writing a letter from Huzaifa uh, Garu to Kumar Garu. Kumar Garu Garu means is a respectful word in Telugu. Yar. Uh, how are you? We need to come. Uh, what uh, we have, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm telling a lot of information. So, if I give this letter to anybody, what they will do? They will check the source is coming from uh, Huzaifa. The destination is to Kumar. Obviously, this message will go to Kumar only. Okay, because we have clearly mentioned this uh, this packet for Kumar. That's why. Now, next uh, next point is in the same situation. Same situation, pa. Now Kumar is in another city. There is a different city. Okay. Let me bring map. Okay, if you are well known to India, okay. Uh, here is a uh, around Chennai location. Uh, here is some Delhi location. Now Kumar is in Delhi. He got a job. Uh, he he is in Delhi. Uh. Now now I want to write a letter to Kumar. He is my student. I want to write a letter to Kumar. How are you, boss? Uh, how the job is going on? What is the salary package? Everything I am asking. As a letter, what I am going to do? I will take a, another letter, uh, a paper. I say just uh, from Huzaifa Garu to Kumar Garu. I am asking how are you? Uh, where are you? Uh, then uh, I'm asking something like this. When I take this letter, because uh, he is in Delhi, no, he is a different place. He huh? is another city in uh, India. So this is I'm in Chennai. This is another city in in uh, India. So I'm writing a letter from Chennai to Delhi. I'm just putting this information as a identity. My identity is a uh, Huzaifa Kumar. Identity is a uh, Just Kumar. I'm writing some information. I'm posting this letter into the postcard. Do you think that postwala will take this letter and directly go to Delhi and post that letter to Kumar? No, right? Why? Because I didn't mention the complete address, location, address of the Kumar. You understand the scenario? What I'm trying to tell you? See. There was a situation where Kumar and me are in the same classroom. There we don't want any location identity. You understand? When both parties are in the same location, they don't want to mention the location address. But uh, if the parity is in one location, the other parity is another location. When they two wants to communicate. There must be location identity. Location identity is very important for communication. Do you accept this or not? You understand, no? See, in networking, in computer networking, the protocols, the system has not created like this, where two computers are in the same switch. We don't want any location ID. If they are connected in a different switch, we want location ID. You got it, no? So even though two computers are in the same switch, even though two computers are in a different switch and different networks, we need a location ID. So IP address is a mandatory parameter for communication. You understand? IP address is a mandatory parameter for communication. So what IP address will do? IP address will create the location identity. IP address used to identify used to identify the location what is ip address unique number what is the use of ip address used to identify the location location of nic card 
location of computer location of device it will done by ip address without ip address no location identified if no location identified then computer will not deliver the packet computer doesn't know where to go uh, computer doesn't know where to go let's take another example uh, another example mm. i want to search a person uh, in mumbai city i want to search a person so not mumbai mumbai okay i want to search a person in mumbai i don't know his name i don't know his name i want to search in mumbai is it possible to search uh, let's go and uh, go to mumbai ask somebody uh, where is he now uh, see you understand there is no meaningless uh, it's a uh, it's all about joke what i'm trying to say you have the location pa you have the street address you have the uh, uh, mumbai andheri some street uh, some uh, some address will be there but you don't know who you are going to search this is one topic uh, this is one a uh, use case i i will tell another use case i want to search a person called kumar but i don't know where he is location i don't know where is the location is i know the person name but i don't know the location what is the first case you know the location but you don't know who are going to search to whom you are going to search but in this situation you know the person but you don't know where he is you understand so what i'm trying to say if you want to communicate a person you need two identities hmm? if you want to communicate to a person you need two identities huzefa what is huzefa this is mac address this is my identity my identity uh, i will give some address number 43 some street some area chennai so and so what is this this is my ip address hmm huzefa is my mac address huzefa is the mac address and and the location address okay the location address which i am staying here this is my this is my ip address you understand uh, what is ip address ip address is my postal address let me give one clear picture if it is me it's me this is huzefa garu this huzefa garu his name is similar to mac address this is mac address okay the address the address of huzefa to reach to communicate to locate uh, that is ip address okay what is ip address ip address is the identify the location of of a person what is mac address mac address is to identify the person yaar pani yaar i'm talking in tamil here Uh, if you are uh, belongs to some other language maybe you don't understand uh, if i want to ask you something in hindi uh, aap kaun ho aap kaun ho ni yaar yavar nu wo telugu hindi uh, tamil okay aap kaun ho ha mera naam kya hai huzefa hai aap kahan se ho where who who are you mac address who are you your mac address where are you ip address you understand remember this see this i i dedicate this class to to make you understand the difference between mac address and ip address okay hmm? so whenever somebody asking your name thing you are telling your mac address so this mac address given by your parents right oh, see huzefa is a name given by my parents uh, this is like that uh, mac address given by the vendor Hmm. ip address ip address is given by whom but it is not given it is automatically came where i am located so i mean i'm 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 located in chennai now uh, my ip address is this uh few years back my ip address was something else okay in andhra in andhra some place you understand so ip address is the location id where you are you tell the ip address who you are you mac address this is the best example i hope you understood very well what is ip address and what is mac address 
this is what i want to tell you in the uh, in this class uh, see we have lot of classes lot of classes but however i'll keep doing uh, classes please watch uh, without fail i hope you understood this what else i will give one more example i will give one more example take a phone a phone every phone has i m e i number right yes i m e i number the same number also there right same number yes what is i m e i number boss i don't know the full form huh? don't ask huh? i don't know this full form i i forgot uh, why i forgot means uh, because uh, to remember full form google is there why should i why should i waste my energy to remember all these full forms so ask chat gpt uh, sim na they will give a big, big text uh, you can uh, take a print out uh, and read it why should i all tell all this but i'm telling you why this ime number and why i sim number ime number is to identify the device sim number is to locate the device uh, if you purchase for phone in dubai uh, that dubai manufacturer company will give ime number uh you bring that phone to india wa will ime number change ah no right you take this phone to usa ah? will ime number change no right similarly wherever you go your name will not change ah uh, that is ime number that's a device identity device identity is a unique number given by the manufacturer the sim number where you came when you come to india you will use india sim when you go to us you use us sim you go to dubai you use that sim you understand wherever you go you use that sim that is location identity so i given another example a uh, location identity sim that is similar to ip address this is similar to mac address okay i gave only one definition here in this class what is ip address what is the use of ip address with some some examples i hope you understood this uh, i think this is enough we'll connect in the next class we'll understand ip address in detail uh, what is ip address and how it look like some um, uh, the octets uh, and many more information is there we'll connect in the next class and we'll continue thank you see you